You're saying that you've tried everything but still couldn't solve that problem on your own? Well, I guess I better consult with my fellow therapist, Miss Susan! Hello, Dr. Sam. What's going on? This is a tough case, colleague. Agent Baby here admits that she's been jealous of her friends, Princess Jasmine and Elsa. They both have wonderful rooms that they don't have to share with anybody! While Agent Baby happens to live with her sisters and they don't want to let her go. Uh-huh, I see. Well, that really is not a simple situation. But I know an amazing team of professionals who can create a nice room and even do a little makeover for you. You're talking about you and me, right? Of course. Now let's go to the craft table. Let's get started! Hi, everyone. Check out what we've got here. An LOL surprise hair goal series package? Cool! I didn't know we were unboxing today. We're not, Sammy. This is just one of our old capsules. Ah. And if you guys remember, here under the top cap, there's a hairspray container. We love LOL dolls, and it's especially great that they come in these awesome packages, which are also kind of a playset. Oh yeah, now give us a thumbs up, everybody who at least has one LOL doll! Alright, Susie, let's get started. I have a hammer, and you got a drill. Chill out, there won't be any actual construction work. Oh. For starters, I want you to help me pick wallpaper. Hmm, I must say this color is not fashionable anymore. Okay, how do you like this one? It's brighter. No, no, pink is too plain for that room, you know. And it will make our agent baby look pale. Okay, you know what? Then I want to hear your suggestions. With great pleasure. I happen to have everything here. <laughs> wow, Sammy, you've got exquisite taste. Oh, I really want to have this wallpaper in my own bedroom. Just say the word, Susie, and Roger and I will reconstruct your bedroom before you know it. Why don't we focus on our craft for now? Guys, you should be very careful here and don't rush so that there are no wrinkles on our beautiful walls. And of course, it is very important to use correct measurements. Your craft should always look neat. If you have trouble with cutting and gluing, remember that you can always ask an adult to help. All right, next we're gonna need foam paper, a little mirror, a few beads. Ugh, I'll just go get everything myself. Susie, are you sure you don't need my help? Okay, at this stage, glittery foam paper might really come in handy. Now this little piece goes here, and we've got ourselves a shelf. Hey Susie, I couldn't find a small mirror. Is this sticker any good? Hmm, I think we need something more sturdy. Don't worry, I'll ask Roger to help me adjust it. In the meantime, here's a cute dressing table. Now this wall looks a bit empty, right? Should we make a couple of extra shelves? Shelves are too boring, Susie. Wow, would you just look at this, guys? Sammy, this mirror is amazing. Although, we could add a few sparkles to it. <laughs> so, Sammy, if not the shelves, then what do you think we should make? A sink! What? Trust me, I know that it's better to have a sink at hand while doing makeup or a hairdo. All right, and what do you suggest we make it out of? This! It's one of the packages left from the LOL surprise playset. And you always tell me to throw stuff like this away. That's quite an idea. Guys, support our frugal slime with a thumbs up. Here we go. Carefully press a little. Great! Susie, we can make a water tap from the wire. And I even found a perfect piece, but now I don't know where it is. Strange. Where? I know. Right behind you. Ha! That always happens to me. By the way, I really like your idea. Let's just bend the wire this way to give it the proper shape. And now we'll just add this cute bead to make the whole thing look more real. That's right, Susan. This is just what I had in mind. Now, guys, I'm going to show you something really sparkly. Whoa, this is very interesting. That is a lot of glitter. And what's it all going to be, Sue? Interesting. You're about to see what. Let's take this off. And voila, a beautiful ottoman is ready. One of a kind. <laughs> and this addition will make it match the whole interior of our room. Wow, 
Are you impressed, guys? I know I am. Don't go anywhere and you'll see more. Guys, now we will make a few accessories for me. I'm so excited. And we're gonna use quite an unusual prop this time. That's right. Guys, these are the rubber parts of regular pens. Now we'll carefully cut one. This way. And then we'll simply wrap it around another pen rubber piece, like this. And that is how hair colors are made. Now let's take one more pen piece and cut it in half. Oop. Great. Next, we're gonna use a piece of a glue stick and put these two together. This way, we'll get a tiny deodorant stick. Wow, guys, how cool is that? <laughs> Cut it out, Susie, I'm ticklish. <laughs> All right, now let's use one more rubber piece and a piece of a glue stick to make a mini version of the hairspray. A black marker will help us make this thing look real. You might also want to decorate your hairspray. Any beautiful rhinestone will do. Speaking of rhinestones... Uh, Susie, check out this cool perfume bottle that I made! Just look at this, guys! I bet there's a Slick Slime signature fragrance inside! <laughs> Let's place it here. And this is a custom-made scent by Sue. <laughs> How about something sparkly, huh? That's a great idea! Guys, this way you can make pretty much anything that you want! Before you use pens for your craft, make sure that nobody needs them to write something down. Or you can use some old pens that aren't fit for writing anymore. This way, your craft will become eco-friendly in a way. Shiver me shatters! What happened, Sammy? Oh, I just spilled some glue all over myself! But don't you worry, Sue, I'm fine. I can see that! <laughs> and you actually gave me one more idea. Our doll might also need paper towels. To me, that's the world's coolest idea for a dollhouse. Do you agree with me, guys? Then you should give us a thumbs up. Well, everything seems to be in its place. Let's see what Agent Baby thinks of all this. Just remember, you are free to tell us if there is anything that you don't like about your new room. Deal? Then let's do this. Hmm. Oh, interesting. Sammy, I think she's ready to share. Right? Uh-huh. She says that this room is just like what she saw in her dreams. But... But, so you see, she isn't sure that her current hairstyle allows her to use all these props. Well, of course. How could we forget? Check out what I have here. Our doll will look more beautiful than Rapunzel with this. But first, let's make a couple of adjustments to your makeup, sweetie. And Grandmaster Samuel is back again. What can I fetch you? A makeup brush or a paintbrush? Actually, I already have everything that I need. Nail polish too? Seriously? And a little bit of glitter. Just look how beautiful this color is. We'll sprinkle it on our doll's eyes and they will become very sparkly. Oh, how come I guessed that wrong? All right, Master Samuel. I'll take this. I help. This way, we'll get rid of the extra glitter from her face. Ooh, and check out what I did with her belongings. Wow, these shoes are glittery too. I just love them. I'm sure she will look gorgeous in this dress. Brilliant! Now we can finally deal with her hair. Let's use some magic. Voila! Oh, she's so beautiful. And I love that she has such long and soft hair. Guys, our renewed agent baby here is ready to look at everything that we made today. Agent Baby. Or maybe now we had better call her Super Agent Baby. Yeah, I think now she's ready to start her new life. Guys, give us a thumbs up if you also liked our little makeover. And if you want more videos like the ones on our channel, then subscribe and hit the bell button. See you soon! Bye, Bye everyone! everyone. Punch.
two, three, four, five. So many, I can't count them all at once. What's happening? Sammy, what are you up to? You help me. I want to find out whether I have enough to open a coffee house. Huh, let's see. Oh, I can already imagine this bride. Uh, Sammy? Cozy. Um, listen. Big. Um, that's unlikely. Really? And what can I afford then? Something this big? Just don't worry about it. But it's awesome! I'll have the smallest coffee house in the world. Let's start the construction. Wait, now? Why not, Sue? You're so absent-minded today. Let's get to the craft. Hi, guys. Today we will build a mini coffee house. Remember how we already built mini houses? It will be just as awesome this time. Wow, so much stuff. I can't wait to open all the baggies. Sue, let's start opening. I'm ready to craft. Then go ahead, Sammy. Start cutting out the parts. And I will start on the base. This piece will be first. At the moment, it doesn't look how it's supposed to. So we'll glue the texture on top. Sue, uh, I think it's the right one. Take it before it gets crumpled. <laughs> we glue it carefully. And meanwhile, you can look for the next part. Nope, no, this one either. Oh, holy cannoli, this is it! <laughs> Great job, Sam. Susan, I found the right part and already glued the texture. Oh, well, I didn't sit around either and made another part. And I'll need your help with this piece. Um, throw me that bottom part. Done! Now we connect them to each other. Great! Pass me the upper part. Um, Sammy, can I have the second part? Uh, wait, Sue, I'm a little busy. We're missing a piece here. <sighs> he gets distracted easily, as always. Oh, well, I can manage it. Awesome! Now we need the sign. Whoa, where did you come from? Already assembled. Did you think that I forgot about you? Oh, that's what you think about me, Susan. I simply had to contribute into the construction of my own coffee house. Sammy, I didn't know that you had a stage name. <laughs> I didn't know that either. I guess I'll have to take Simon as my stage name. <laughs> oh, and who will appreciate my contribution? It's not fair. Guys, let's give Sue lots of thumbs up. She deserves it. Thanks, Sammy. That works. Oh, and uh, where are those pieces? Huh, are you missing something, Sue? Yes, those small, barely visible. Ah, now I get it. Sammy, give them to me. Give what, Sue? These are my new eyebrows. I look splendid, don't I? Um, honestly, you look better without them. So let's use them right away. Well, okay, I'm handsome the way I am. Right you are. Look at this awesomeness that we got. We're just missing one important part. This one? I knew I should assemble it beforehand. I did great, right? I never doubted you, Sammy. You're just in time. We'll attach it here and here. And now we make the base for the floor. Sammy, check what we need to do next. Sue, we needed to make wiring for the light, but the wire's got a bit tangled. <laughs> a bit? We'll fix it now. Yay! Let there be light! Oh, oh, don't pull the wire so hard, Sue. And now we lay the floor. I feel like a real builder. Sue, what kind of coffee do you prefer? Um, a latte, I guess? <laughs> Why are you asking? I need to decide on the signature drink in my personal coffee house. I would add slimacino to the menu. Oh, sounds delicious. I imagine that there will be lots of fluffy whipped cream. And we continue with the flooring. Here's a spot for a small step. We'll press it down neatly. Do you like it? Now we'll cover the edges. One snap and done. Cool, isn't it? Don't forget to place the steps, Sue, otherwise someone will fall down for sure. Oh, you're right, Sammy. Comfort and safety of our customers is above all. But beauty is important as well. Where are the rugs that should be here? Sue, let's keep them. They're so cool. No way. Sammy, we'll buy different ones for our house. 
and we'll use these specially for our mini coffee house. Ba -da, ba -da, da -da -da. Uh, did you want to say something? <laughs> right, I almost forgot to hang them. Bring them here. What a tasty menu. I really like it. Hmm, I wish I could go drink some coffee now. Da -da -da -da. And where should I put all this? Oh, wait, Sammy, I don't have everything ready yet. Ugh, you should have said this earlier. I would slow down then. While I'm assembling the shelves, try to make other items for our interior. Huh, let's see. There's plenty of work for me here. Uh, this goes here, a half stick there, and just a dust stick here. Awesome! And now here, so I'll take some more time. Done! Now we can hang the shelves and organize the boxes. Sammy? Shiver me cheddar! Why is everything so small? I'm coming soon! Bonjour, mademoiselle. Today's lunch is a uh, coffee mill. So many interesting things here. Oh, I would love to work in a coffee house like this. Sue, I'm afraid the hooks are too small for our guests' clothes. Sammy, these are not clothing hooks. Let me show you. First, we attach them to the wall with glue like this. And now we hang the cup right here. And done. Ugh. Now I see. Here are more cups, too. Voila. <laughs> it's becoming much cozier. Here we'll have the bar for our customers with a comfy leg shell. Everyone will be happy to try our delicious coffee or tea. <sighs> and add more flowers. I love flowers. <laughs> then we'll put the flowers in the best spot. And memorable photos from our trips. Ah, I like that style. Ugh, shiver me chatters, this really is the smallest coffee house in the world. <laughs> Sammy, you won't be able to sit on these for sure. But at the same time, we can accommodate all of our customers. Huh, it's a little empty here. What should we put there? Shoo! I know where I can make a mini latte for ya. <laughs> Good idea, Sam. By the way, it'll look great here. Okay, one part looks all right and the second is still empty. This won't work. Should we make a swimming pool like in the other mini house? Oh, no, no, <laughs> let's not repeat ourselves. It's an interesting idea, but a little crazy. <laughs> uh, help, Sue, I found the last piece of furniture. Hmm. It's a perfect fit. And what should our customers do with it? I suggest putting toys. Oh. Hey, maybe we throw a coin then? The one who wins makes the choice. Please don't fail me. I go for tails. Don't be mad, Sam. Next time you'll choose. Deal, but then assemble this yourself. I wonder what we'll get in the end. What do you think, guys? Two, and what is this for? Do we have to paint something? Hmm, I don't know yet, Sammy. Let me assemble this first. Maybe we should paint the walls golden! That would be fabulous! Wait, I guess I know why we need the paint. Give me a bit more time. Okay, but just a bit. Otherwise, I'll start painting the wall. Do you recognize what this is now? Wow, my own piano in a coffee house. My dream of becoming a musician is coming true. Yesterday, all my troubles seemed so far away. Sammy, did you learn how to play with your head? It's coming from my soul and I play the way I want. Oh, I want a comfy chair. Live music for our customers. We're getting a high-class cafe. And with a sheet music of my favorite song here. Favorite song? What's the name, Sammy? This is in Slimish. <laughs> You've got a wild imagination. By the way, it's your turn to choose the decor for our interior. Can I do it with my eyes closed? It's more interesting this way. So does it look cool? Huh? Huh? Ah, books again. 
Sen? Oh, this is nonsense. You confess. Is this your fault? Come on, Sammy. It was your handiwork. I had more important stuff to do. Ah, oh, this is some weird decor you're assembling now, Susan. It, it's too modern for me. <laughs> Very funny. It's just the future table and chair for the cafe. Oh, then assemble it faster. We have to open soon. Oh, so many things are still not ready. Sam is such an alarmist. Let's finish with the furniture. The chair only needs the back. One twig, another one. We'll insert it nicely. And the last one. A little more. Done. Now we can arrange them. Here we'll have the table, right near the live music. And two chairs. Someone can come with a friend. Welcome to Sam's Cafe. While you're studying our menu, I would like to offer you a small compliment from our chef barista. <laughs> you're so sweet, but there's one problem. No one can enter our cafe. Oh, holy macaroons, why so? Our cafe doesn't have the front door yet to let our customers in. <laughs> Susan, you scared me. I even started to melt. Oh, this was a joke. Sorry if I scared you. Could you help me decorate the door a bit? I thought you'd never ask. Decorator Sam is ready for anything. It came out great, Sam. I like it very much. I did my best. <laughs> I'm off to assemble the greens. Sammy, wait, wait, wait. You have a sticker. Oh, well, Sam also needs some decor. <laughs> And now we'll insert the door into the door frame. Carefully, right here. Sammy, so many flowers. Do you have enough space to accommodate all this? We'll find it. There will be lots of flowers. Oh, wow. Well. Oh, I can't do it. So I've got a problem here. Save me. Oh, the tweezers will help us here. Let's pick it up. One here. And another one here. Let's speed up the process. Are you ready? Wow, that's much faster. <laughs> okay, now we can go on vacation. Wait, we didn't have the grand opening yet. Let's postpone our trip. And if you really decide to go, it'll be right here, deal? Okay, we still have one part left. We almost forgot about it. Oops. Sometimes that happens to us. This set has so many small parts. We'll place it here so our customers can see the whole selection. Susan, I think a hole instead of a ceiling is not an option. You're right. We need to install a durable and pretty ceiling. And the lighting, of course. Shine bright like a diamond. A few bright lamps won't do any harm. The more we have, the cozier the atmosphere. Carefully so we don't damage anything. Step aside, Sammy. Ready? Is it ready yet? I'm dying to see it. Now it's ready. Three, two, one. Sam's coffee house is open. And this is how our coffee house looks like on a cozy summer night. Please, don't come inside! Sing to you! Don't come inside either! Sammy, what's wrong with this fancy nightclub base control? No, oh, they're too big to be customers of our coffee house. I give up. Oh, cheer up, Sammy. Anyways, now we have the smallest coffee house in the world, and I made you a slime machino. Try it. Ah, delicious. My mood is one hundred times better now. Thanks, Sue. You know how to cheer me up. Guys, today we made a cool and unusual craft. If you liked it, give a thumbs up and share this video with friends. Agree and subscribe to our channel. Bye bye. Oh, you're in here. That's great. Just in time. Check out my new house. Look how cool it is. It's got a bathroom. Oh, I can fully relax. Or I can.
and jump on the bottom of the bedroom! <laughs> Next door is the kitchen! There's so many goodies in here! And you know what a great cook I am! <laughs> this is another bedroom! Dibs on sleeping in the upper bunk! Yay! Here's the funniest room! We can play here all night long! And did you see these book piles? It's a lot to read! Hey, Sammy, open up! We're here to see a new house! How to assemble this house. Hi all, today we're going to build a cozy dill house. Let's start with the kitchen. Whoop, hop, hop, hop. Sam's construction crew is here. <laughs> Thank you. This is the place for the kitchen utensils. Holy cannoli, they're pink! <laughs> <laughs> Sam and I love pink. And now it's time to spit up a bit. Whoosh! I'm making my signature scrambled eggs. Oh, wait! We gotta assemble the hood first! Uh oh, sorry! It's okay, we'll do that in no time! Hop! Now you're free to cook! We're lacking of electricity! And the walls in the oven! <laughs> what a grumpy assistant! Friends, do you agree? Well, now that we have walls, I'm a nice slime again! <laughs> Here comes the cooker hood! <laughs> yeah! Thanks, Sam! What would I do without you? Oh, I wish any house could be as easily moved! Where would you take your room, huh, Susie? <laughs> Stand still. Hmm, i take mine to the beach. And I'd travel this kitchen to TV Top and back! Check out all the goodies in here! Mm. But to fit them all, we need to assemble a kitchen set. Let's get it done! Now the room really does look like a kitchen. Here we go. Hey, has anyone seen the refrigerator? Don't worry, the pieces have just arrived. Ah, delivery services are so late. Hurry, let's assemble it! I cleaned it all up, bring in the furniture! Oh, Sammy, you're a real hero. Just two pieces left and our kitchen will be ready. Crafting is good, but reading books is even cooler! Ah! Ooh, don't worry, y'all! That's why, Sammy, it's better to read in a comfortable room and not on the go. And here's the bookcase. Book lovers, give a thumbs up. It doesn't look right. The shelves are empty. Oh, you've collected mini versions of all your favorite books here. It's so cool. Here's a desk. Sit at it and write down how cool I am. <laughs> your desk looks a little low, Sammy. Well, I haven't attached the legs yet. Ha, you do the rest. Place for it. Hmm, let's see. Uh, oh, found it! I love it here, just like in my room. Let's make it even better. Uh huh. It turned out so nice. And I found an awesome book here. <laughs> and to make it even cozier, here's a heart for you. Send us your heart too by hitting the thumbs up button. Sammy, check out who came here to help us. Oh, just in time. Come on in, put everything nice and neat. Wow, now that's a study room. I would never, ever, ever leave it. Unless we make another cool room, right? Come on, it's waiting. Hey, have you guessed what's going to be in this room yet? But I accept the challenge. I'm a fearless slime. Ouch! Careful, you're poking me in the eye with this window. Sorry, can't hear you from outside. <laughs> oh, ha ha, shiver me chatter, Susie. <gasps> Sammy, look. Here's a picture of puffy clouds. What could that mean? Hold on, I need to fix a hole in the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Let me help you. What's in there? 
Hmm, I'm gonna give you a hint. Hop? <gasps> wow! Sammy, first you have to choose which bunk you're going to sleep on. Hmm, well, it's a tough choice, but I certainly couldn't sleep without my toys! <laughs> now that's better! And we need to set up the box! Uh-huh! <laughs> it's great, Sammy! And this staircase needs a railing with swimming dolphins! The room isn't packed yet! Just you wait! <laughs> Hold on, Sammy. I'll set everything up first. Now pile this room up with thumbs up! I wish you only sweet dreams! Check out this ceiling! Here's huh? for the playroom upstairs! Uh -oh, <laughs> ah! You're gonna crush me! <sighs> Where's your superpower, Sammy? You need to cheer up and play along! Then I'll play an adventure game! Okay, here we go! Hurrah! <laughs> it's chasing away the slimes who's messing up the camping tent. Shall we put it together? Let's go! Now let's lift it up and secure it with a wire. And add some decorations, too. Oh, I wouldn't live in here! Just let me go get another pillow! Here we go. Sammy, pull. I'm pulling, Sammy. I'm pulling. Okay. Oh, this is great. A mini kitchen is done. All we need is to fill the room with toys. A slide right in the room? Gotcha! Toys, come in and play! <laughs> hey, I wanna play too! It's too packed already. <sighs> Huh? Sammy, do you want to accommodate in the next room? <gasps> Yay! Hurry! Let's cheer Sam up. Can you find five differences from the last room here? Well, there's a window and the walls that are colored too. No difference yet! Okay, then we need to fast forward. Let's see if you'll find something new this time. Huh! Here's only one bed. This room's just and you found the first difference! Let's move on! Sammy likes to read in bed. Let's put a night lamp and… Look! He's got some letters! <laughs> a letter? From Hogwarts? Holy cannoli, I've been waiting 13 years in Azkaban! Oh, never mind… Find that bibbity bubbity But you already know magic! And you've created new pieces! We'll put them together so you can store your favorite books in here. And I brought even more! Check out my treasures! I'll put them all in here! Well, uh, here! <laughs> yeah, it's so packed! <laughs> this bookcase will fit next to the dresser. Just a few more pieces to go! Yay! I like doing this! <gasps> the room is done! <laughs> You look like a mess, but we don't have a bathtub yet. Uh-oh! Holy cannoli! What are we gonna do? You're lucky. We have a space for the last room. And that's gonna be the bathroom. So you'll be able to wash up. But you have to shrink first. <laughs> I'll just go to the regular bathroom. All these pieces while I'm there. Hmm, I can't find… Oh, huh? here they are. <laughs> oh, I'll be right back! We're going to build one of the walls for the doll's bathtub. That's mine! Ah, ah, Susie, you should have warned me! Oh, sorry, I really needed this towel. Yeah, we'll put it in our little bathroom. <laughs> Shiver my cheddars! I want it too! I brush my teeth here three times a day and sing! La 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 la! All you need is soapy foam. Oh, how to rinse it off? Sammy, come back! That's why I put a tub in here! And 
put a rock not to wet the floor. <laughs> and there will be a laundry basket in the corner so you don't throw dirty clothes around. <laughs> Thanks. All right, we've made all six rooms for our house. Yay! <laughs> now it's time to put everything together. Holy cannoli! Whee! Susie, get the roof! I'm ready to nail it on! Let's assemble it first. Oh, right. <laughs> Some glue has come in handy. All that's left is to turn on the lights and call in the guests. So happy, and now we're going to do a cool renovation. Holy cannoli! I'm on it! Are you ready for a makeover? First, let's unzip this. And ask an adult to cut a hole right here. Uh, uh, wait, what? I, I don't have anything ready yet! <laughs> Give me these decorations. Hey! As a decoration, Sam would be awesome, right? <laughs> huh? What's this for? It's for the electricity. Now, let's go eat some cookies, huh? <laughs> First, we'll make a double wall using cardboard and foam. Now we can insert LED lights. Aha! Uh -huh, gotcha! Get back and get back! <laughs> oh, Sammy, we're never gonna finish this. Let's attach batteries to the back. Did you go send the electrician? I'm just gonna connect it. Hold on. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yay! It's done. <laughs> wow, her wall is glowing. Hey, who turned off the light? <laughs> Let me out. <laughs> oh, Susie, thank you. I love how it turned out. Let's hope our little doll will be happy. Now move the wall towards me. More, more, don't be. <laughs> Still there's one more light bulb left. <laughs> Phew, I know what's next. Uh, whoops, I left the time. <laughs> Don't worry, I got it. Just follow my lead. That's my suit. I got have a thought too, you know. <laughs> Why is the ceiling so high, huh? Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> so that we get a second floor. Ooh, let's make it sturdier. Bam, 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 bam. Sammy, look. 
We're gonna make a foam rainbow. I'm gonna decorate it with my favorite unicorns! Earth to uh, Sammy! Uh, uh, Are you daydreaming? Uh, uh, I'm in the game again! Hold on. I'll show you how to make glowing clouds. Make sure that the lights are squeezed into the holes. Oh, come on. Give me just a bit. No, oh, oh, a tiny piece from the back. No one will notice. Please. Oh, feel the unicorn share the <laughs> Sammy looks good on you, too. <laughs> now we have fluffy, soft clouds. Oh, oh, oh. Sam Moneypeak is here to make it shit. <laughs> I'm gonna jump to you! Gotcha! Ha <laughs> ha! And more! Ha! Take that! Oh, I'm done! Actually, art is relaxing! Told ya! But you haven't finished painting this piece! Uh huh! And now the tea table is done! <laughs> Did you order a lampstand? Whoa! <laughs> Such a fast delivery! Put me next to it! Slime is the best decoration ever! Sammy, come on. How will I manage without you? Well, if I'm too precious, then put this one there. <laughs> um, and what is this? You can finish this beanbag chair. Don't thank me. <laughs> okay, here we go. It's great, isn't it? So cozy. What's this? Oh, come on. It's tiny kid balls and all time trends. <laughs> that sounds like another one of Sam's jokes. Anyway, our beanbag chair came out just fine. Awesome, Susie. I got your present. Here's a donut for you. Oh. <laughs> hey, it's not edible. Yep. I'm going to make the world's greatest donut ottoman. The main ingredient is feed sprinkles. Here we go. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hmm. All right. The ottoman turned out really cute. Good job, Sam. We can invite guests for housewarming. Huh? Ouch, <laughs> Sammy. <laughs> Hold it on, mister. Did you bring any presents? All right. One slipper is a gift and the second one's for free. And here's my gift to you. Oh, oh nice. Now I'll paint the shelves myself. Let's attach them to the wall. And put my photo. Uh, oh, it's too big. I messed up. Then let's paint pictures ourselves. They suit the room well. Hey, Sarah! Can I come in? Milady of Prince is on the way. Uh, oh, oops! <laughs> that was an accident, sorry! <laughs> That's why you should have waited for the stairs. And whoosh! <gasps> it looks great! We only need a rope. There you go. Now you both can climb up safely. Yeah, let's... Uh, hey, where are you taking it? Give it back, you! What about me? Ah! <laughs> um, uh, here's a reconciliator snack. Whee, this looks delicious! Sammy, why this last piece isn't painted? Oh, uh, whoopsie, I forgot about it. Oh, slimy silly egg. That's okay, we'll paint it together. Fellows, ask your friends to come along. Ooh, awesome! Oh, no, 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 no. Ooh, let's do a few test jumps. <laughs> Great! <laughs> the test is passed. This sticker is a mark of quality. Now, let's make a nightstand. Oh, Susie, I could barely find these handles. Oh. Just in time. Let's attach them to the right place. Oh, the new decor has arrived. Next, we're gonna make... Oh, what is this? A three-pointer? Whoops! 
Isn't that a basketball hoop? And isn't this a dress trail? <laughs> you wish. It's a bed curtain called a canopy. It goes on top of the bed. Lumos, here comes the light. <laughs> Sammy, now I need your help. Wow, I can craft clothes too. Oh, <laughs> there you go, Sue. You're up. Just a few stitches left and the pillow is ready. <gasps> so soft. Let's also make a night lamp for reading at night. Wow, so beautiful. So, let's add the sand of jasmine and... Oh, but, but Julie? What is that? <laughs> We'd better just take the lid and turn it into a cozy plant pot. It's the most nourishing one. <laughs> okay, the decor is ready. Hey, it's for unicorns only. <laughs> and will someone help me with the makeover? Friends, follow our lead. Let's make a cute little pajamas for the doll. And a funny unicorn sleep mask. <laughs> Let's put on a couple of decorative wings. Chop, chop. Run to your new home, baby girl. This is much better. Hurry up and come in. some guests in here. <laughs> Are you jealous now for turning the house down? <laughs> hey, unicorns only. But, but, but I was part of the construction team. <laughs> Look, these are all my friends. <laughs> Who let me in? I said no and no <sighs> means no. Wait, uh, okay, what if I do this? Come in? Huh. Wait a minute. Uh, oh, you're breaking bad, mister. Uh, Slimes are so sneaky. While Sam's playing tags, give a thumbs up to our unicorn house. And subscribe to our channel. New videos are coming soon. Take care. Hey, four leg, help me out. Gotcha. Uh, help. Oh, thanks, you're my savior. Well, see you soon. Bye-bye. Found you. <laughs> I think I got all the clothes. Hey, that's mine. Let's not forget the furniture. <laughs> hey, this is my table. You have to move out right now. Eviction? Why? Mm -hmm. What's wrong? Step aside, you'll regret it. Sammy, what is going on? So, uh, I have to prepare a house for Pikachu, and they don't want to share. I've got a solution. We'll craft the house. Come on. Every house has a foundation. Ours will be very bright. Let's straighten it up. Or else the lemon, uh, I mean the paper will crumble. Now we'll attach the back wall. Zipper Builder Sam is always here. I will fix it nicely. So it's time to add another floor. I have everything ready. Oh, you're on fire, Sammy. This goes here. 
The furniture comes next. We'll start with the nightstand. Oh, it's Pikachu! <gasps> He's too early! Nothing is ready yet! Ah! Maybe it's not that bad. He can help us here. Maybe later. He needs some rest. Here's what I made! <laughs> oh, you made a great topper for the nightstand. And the first piece of furniture goes here. I guess we need a lamb, don't we, Sammy? I guess I look like Pikachu. Check out my ears! <laughs> Those are not ears, but paws. You look more like a bunny with these. A bunny? Then I'll start pole jumping! <laughs> hey, get it back! Sammy, your pole got stuck. Let it be. It's a nice holder for the head. Then I'll make the face. Uh-huh. <laughs> Do you like it? What is this? Do I look like that? Pikachu! Oh, you're here. Uh, this is just a joke. There you go. <laughs> Don't fight, guys. Let's better finish the lamb. The last thing. Pikachu's super tail. Now the lamp will take its place in the future house. So look, we started to make a bed with Pikachu. Let's add the right upholstery. The bed should also look like Pikachu. It's a perfect interior match, but something's missing. Mega, different. mega, whoops! <gasps> right, the Pikachu's headboard. Now everything is perfect. So, we managed to go shopping using my super speed. <laughs> vroom, vroom. Oh, you bought so much. A lot of cool small stuff. <gasps> the blanket and cushions. Oh, I wish I could sleep in this bed. Oh, so you're just well. Let me do everything. Ooh, a hanger. We'll attach it here to the wall. Pikachu, let's hang you in a hanger! Wait! <laughs> I have a better idea. Let's hang a backpack. Ah! <laughs> Sammy, come here! Can't catch me! I run much faster! <laughs> we'll see about that. Come here, pink slime! <laughs> Just the straps left. You can't carry a backpack without them. And here's the result. Um, Sue, so, have you seen Pikachu? I can't find him anywhere. <laughs> I hope Pikachu won't fall off his head. <laughs> and the bedroom is ready. Not yet. We need a flower. <laughs> Couldn't you tell me about Pikachu on my head? Oh, don't be mad at me, Sammy. Friends will be right back. Here's the wall between the bedroom and the bathroom. Wow, it's an awesome photo zone. I want to take a picture. Sammy, it's a partition, not a photo zone. Sorry, Pokeball. You brought a Pokeball? Is it for me? <laughs> no, Sammy. I will make a mini bathtub. A bathtub? Seriously? And here's some foam. How do you like it? Mm, I need to check it out. Ah! Ah, it's slippery here. Sammy, wait for the invitation from our main character. And what is this? I don't fit it in again. It's a cabinet for towels and shampoos. So Pikachu has everything in one place. When taking a bath, everything should be at hand. I like it, but we need to fill the shelf. I'll take care of it. <laughs> here. Hmm, how did this get here? That's not for Pikachu. <laughs> I guess so, but thanks. What do you mean? So give hmm, me my gum. This one. Ahem, <laughs> 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 I'm Inspector Sam. The bathroom needs to be checked. Get out. Out, out. If you say so. <laughs> Here's the staircase. Oh, thanks for the shower. The bathroom is good to go. Awesome. And I finished the stairs. Want to check? Hmm, let's see. Not bad. Ah! Ah! The slimes are so clumsy. Oh, what did you say? Come here and prove it. Oh, Sammy, Sammy. One day someone will beat you. <laughs> What's this? I lost a bed. Now I have to give Pikachu a ride. Better give it to me. It'll make a good sofa. Oh, Sue, Sue, we have a new bed. You're the ref. Okay, let's do it. Let's go. Stay away. <laughs> I knew that I'm the coolest one! <laughs> oh, Sammy got carried away. I thought he would help me more. The sofa is ready. Oh, hi, Sammy. Are you here to help? Uh -huh. How can I sit here? What's wrong with it? It's too small! <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at? I'll get you! Whoa. Whoa. I'll use this. We'll glue the countertop here and voila! What a great addition to the sofa! Hey, Sue, I brought some extra decor. Here. <laughs> oh, Pikachu wants to test his sofa. <laughs> Quiet, let Pikachu rest, but don't go anywhere. Welcome back. And here's the rat stand for the TV. <laughs> and here's the actual TV. <sighs> Have you ever watched our videos on a big screen? Awesome. 
I'll go get Pikachu. <laughs> and I'll get another plan here. Let's move to the kitchen. First comes the fridge. Hmm, just in. <gasps> Great. Phew, I'll save you. Though I don't know what happened here. Me too. Me too. Relax, you two. I just made a fridge. Here we'll have the doors. But I guess we need some decor too. I'm on it. Oh, thanks, Pikachu. I will add a couple of details. I can also cast flashlights. Almost. Like this. Uh, uh, oh, whoops. Sue, I think my wand is broken. What do I do? Don't be upset. We'll turn these into handles. This corner is perfect for our fridge. I will look inside first. <laughs> I am the house creator. Tammy, did you forget whose house it is? Can you stick to decoration, please? Of course. Come, Pikachu. Let's see who does it better. <laughs> What's this? Which style do you like more? You both did great. Perfect decor. We just need a countertop. Like this one? We worked on it together. Awesome. Now we need a stove. Pikachu has to cook somewhere, right? I will cook first. I am Super Chef Sam. Okay, okay. Then start cooking the pot. Because we don't have the tableware. <laughs> Get cooked quick, dear pot. <laughs> and the hood is ready. He just needs a control pad. Let's add some buttons so we can turn it on. Sammy, how's the pot doing? It's done. Check it out. You're gonna love using it. Great job. I'll put a flower here and the kitchen is ready. It's a new game. Catch Pikachu without a Pokeball. <laughs> hey! Gotcha! <laughs> Take off. Whoa! Sue, cut it out. I almost cut it. I have a better idea. You'll play all you want. Wait! I have this for you. Can you use it? <laughs> of course. I'll glue it and you can play. Yay! Now let's see who's the best of you. Have fun. I will hang a painting and... Ta-da! The house is ready. to Pikachu's home. I will give you a room tour. <laughs> hey, behave yourselves. You're a guest. I can't look at this. <sighs> How is it going? Oh, terrible. They don't listen to me and do whatever they want. <laughs> You'll have to make a house like this for everyone now. <laughs> what, what? No! <sighs> I'll stay here with you. <laughs> the owners are shocked and the guests are happy. Give a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Bye-bye. Phew, what a day. It's so good to be home. But where are my slippers? What? Uh... I should get myself a cup of coffee. <gasps> What's going on? Is it my eyes or is something wrong with the world? And the food, too. It's definitely not enough. Ah, <sighs> I'll watch a relaxing video. Or not? What's going on in our house? Oh! What? Susie! Is it time to welcome our guests? The alarm clock is tiny, too? Yes, of course. I'm waiting for my friend. And I prepared a room for him. But why is everything so small, Sam? Because my friend is a Tibetavian! And they're tiny. Huh. I have no idea. And I wanted my friend to be comfortable. So you're going to accommodate him in there? Well, yes! No, Sam, this won't do. We should offer our guests only the best. Come, let's make a real mini house with all the comforts. Hi, guys! Looks like today, Sam and I will have to become builders, interior designers, and carpenters. We'll have to make the whole house from scratch! No, no, we'll use a special kit. Oh, then it's easy peasy. Are you sure? Well, that's a kit, right? We've used so many kits already. Guys, write in the comments which video with kit building on our channel did you like most of all. So, we're pretty experienced. We'll do that in no time! Okay. 
see for yourself. We need to assemble the furniture and the accessories. The house itself, install lighting. And lighting too. I see, then let's start. It'll be fun, you'll see. And your Tibidabian friend will definitely like it. Will we use the instructions? Sure. Oh, I'll make the soft furniture. Okay, just don't fall asleep on it. <laughs> Never. Yeah, right. Well, I'm going to start making the rest. Oh, look, we don't need to make the fridge. It's already ready. Adorable. Hmm. First, I'm going to assemble the base of the house to get the idea where the other parts fit. The first floor will have the kitchen with the dining area, the bathroom, and the living room. The second floor will have the bedroom and the study. Here, we need to glue a window in, carefully. One half. And then the other one. Now let's glue this wall to the floor. I hope it'll hold. Make more windows, Susie. My friend likes lots of space, I think. Don't worry, he'll have lots of space. Let's start with the bathroom. It's a very important thing. Guys, what is your favorite room in the house? Share in the comments. Yeah. Sam, you're making the soft furniture. You can't call this soft. Oh, we'll take a towel and a rug too. Then it'll be soft. <laughs> I'll set it aside and make a shower cabin first. To make it, I folded some transparent plastic in half. And I'll decorate it with some strips. And add some handles. Otherwise, how can we open it? Let's hang the shower on the wall. Look how beautiful and golden it is. Let's set our shower cabin. This room is starting to look luxurious. I'll glue a holder next to the shower and place a towel on it. Of course, we also need a sink in the bathroom. Look how cool it came out. Let's set it in place. Yeah! Here what? A special Tibidabian shower gel to make him feel good. Are you sure it's Tibidabian? All right, I'll put it in. And we'll also add the mirror. We only need to install the toilet. And place the rug. Let's cover this whole thing with some walls. One. And two. The first room is done. Huh. Interesting. This looks like a place for a mini patio. Patio? Oh, yeah. We'll do barbecue there. He knows how to cook. Does he? Well, then let's equip the kitchen with all the necessary stuff. Here we're going to have the air hole over the stove with a real light. Oh, that's good. Of course, my friend isn't afraid of the dark, but it's much cozier with the light. I can't argue there. Right, here we have some kitchen cabinets with a stove and a sink. And the fridge, of course. And all kinds of pleasant little things appear in the kitchen. Little things, those are very important things. Since the kitchen is ready, it's time to do the bedroom. How are those soft items coming, Sam? Soft items? Oh, good, yes. Then go get them. And I'll attach the base of the second floor, which has the lights for the first floor in it. These little lamps. Let's insert the wires carefully into the openings. And glue the piece. There you go. A whole bed? Awesome. As a hospitable host, I need to make sure my friend has enough sleep. And what's this? This is for the channel. Give it here or you'll crumple it. Sure, take it. And I'll add some more cozy lights to the bedroom. And this intricate carpet. Let's set the bed. And a nightstand near the bed. Oh, don't forget the curtains to hide from all those strangers. <laughs> all right, all right. The long curtains go in the dining room. And the short one goes in the bedroom. Sue, Sue! Don't forget that my friend is a busy person. He needs a desk. Like this one? It'll do. Place this notebook on it. Wait a moment. Here goes the desk with a lamp. And now the notebook, like this. And Sam, uh, what about the armchair? The armchair? Oh, the armchair! A moment. While Sam's fetching that armchair, I'll add a few more details. This cute little book. And a stationary set. And also some railing to make sure nobody falls down accidentally. Here's the armchair! Great! Let's set it in place. 
I hope my friend won't have to jump or fly to get to the second floor. Of course not. He'll use these stairs to get to the second floor. Let's glue it in place. So, I, uh, I'm confused about the sofa. Well, you made the pieces correctly. The soft part is inside, and the pretty fabric is on the outside. We simply need to assemble it. Let's clear it and apply some glue to the base. We'll glue the big cushion and also two small cushions to sit comfortably. <laughs> and of course, no sofa can do without the back and the arms. And here's our finished sofa. Oh, phew, I thought it should look differently. Then catch more cushions! Ooh, I am. One and two and three. All there. We also need a carpet for our living room. And let's set the sofa in place. Ooh, the coffee table is a must-have. I agree. Right, Susie. I think something's missing. Something? The dining room, of course. Oh, how could I forget about this important part of the house? But there's no soft furniture here. No soft furniture? Then we'll set the wooden one. The table. Really nice. And a couple of chairs. And also the cups. And some yummy treats for tea. Wonderful. We only need to add a few small details and it's done. Now we're ready to receive guests. Susie! Do you think your friend will like it? Of course, how can he not like it? And what about this? Holy cannoli, it's so cozy! I want to live here myself, but... Wrong size. But you can enjoy the view. Yeah! Sam! Hey, Sam, your friend is here! Looks like we need a bigger house. Guys, give this video a thumbs up to support all unusual guests. <laughs> and subscribe to the channel to see even more adventures with our funny Sam. Huh, interesting. Do I notice something? We've already built a lot of houses, right? Yep. So what? But somehow all of them are two stories. Um, maybe. And? It means that each of us gets one floor. And that means that you don't want to live with me. Since you always build only two floors. <laughs> Sammy, did you sign up for the cheapest psychology course? That's nonsense. Okay, let's build a house with just one floor so you don't think that way. Oh no. One floor is a step back. Plus, we need to take a break from each other from time to time. Here, look. Let me see. Let's make a three-story house. Everyone gets one floor and one will be shared. <laughs> oh, let's give it a try. Hi, guys. Today we'll add a three-story house to our collection. So let's begin. We'll start with the base and walls as usual. I already made the hole for the door on the wall. Let's fix it like this. 
also check out this musical mechanism. We'll hear it a bit later. Shoo, I'm more into decor, you know. I forgot how we make the walls. Oh, Sammy. We've assembled so many houses and you still don't know how to make the walls? Yeah, I'm not good for nothing. Very embarrassing. Oh, come on. Don't be so hard on yourself. Better watch closely. It's quite easy. I glued the wallpapers here and now I'll insert the window like this. Okay, I got it. And next we'll glue the frames, right? Correct. Since you remember it, then we'll do some magic. Here you go. So, Sammy, now you understand how to make the walls? <laughs> Susan, I pranked ya. I already prepared all the walls. Oh! <gasps> Sammy! Your acting talent really persuaded me. Maybe I can become an actor! Or is it too late? Wait, no! Who will be the main builder of the house and make everything? Well, at the moment, I'm making everything and arranging the first floor while you're being so proud of yourself. <laughs> I already glued all the furniture in the bathroom. Look! Not so fast, Susan. Now the bathroom will become way cooler. <laughs> well, very interesting, Mr. Boss. Like this. Now I'll show you what a perfect job means. Here. Here. Anyone would love to bathe in such a place. Great, Sammy. And I also didn't sit around. Actually, I made something for the kitchen so the food always stays warm. Hmm. Looks like a competition. Right, Sammy? Then this is my move. So the food stays fresh, it also needs the storage, a fridge. Oh, yeah. And also this cupboard. Huh. What you say? And I… And I… Uh… I took care about the coziness and hung a painting. Thanks, but a washing machine, for example, is more important to me. Okay, let's stop this competition and work as a team. Ugh, mind you, it wasn't me who started it, Sammy. But good idea. I'm totally for it. So, um… Thanks for the flowers. They'll look great here. Great! Okay, Susie. You can be the boss and I… will be your deputy and also the chief of thumbs up and subscriptions department. <laughs> what? And how will your department work? First goes a bit of magic. Wow. And now, dear colleagues, I ask you to hurry up and give a thumbs up under this video. Well, you can't disobey a boss like that. We'll also do some tea magic. I really wish we could organize a tea party with the most loyal subscribers. But we don't have enough chairs. Maybe sometime in the future, Sammy, but… For now, let's install the staircase that will lead us to the next floor. Like this. We'll also finish with the walls. Here comes the first one. Second. And third. Such beauty should be protected with walls. So, guys, we're already finishing with the first floor. This way we'll attach the lamp to the ceiling of the first floor. And, um… Don't forget, guys. Ask an adult to help you with electricity and wires. So it's high time to move to the second floor of our house. Come on, Sue. I have something to impress you with. And everyone here. I can't wait to see your creations. But for now, we'll install the floor of the second floor. There you go. Let's connect the floor to the roof like this. Sammy, what are you carrying there? I set up a collection of the best books. There's Jules Byrne and Robert Louis Steve. Well, I mean the best ones. <laughs> I see that you didn't manage to read all of the books while assembling the bookcase. Well, then it's my chance to come back to the second floor with some coffee and get into the world of books. To make you feel even cozier, I'll put this lamp here. And the most comfortable way to read is lying on a soft sofa. Hop. It became really comfortable just now. Hey, <laughs> don't fall asleep in all of this comfort. Actually, day sleep is very good for you. Hmm, maybe, but not when it replaces reading. Here, our book corner is finished. And we're working with the wires again. This needs to be done carefully and with the adults. This lamp will be right there. 
It's not a room, but a kingdom of light. Huh. Are you afraid that the light will bother your sweet dreams, Sammy? I'm not implying anything, but... The bed that I assembled looks awesome here. <laughs> Sammy, you're something. <sighs> Let's add a bit of decor. <laughs> and also, another wall for extra coziness. Such a pretty room. I can watch lots of sweet dreams here. Okay, let's move to the third floor. Of course, I already connected the wires very carefully. Sue, I prefer beautiful and spectacular chandeliers to not some subtle lamps. <laughs> oh, you're a natural earl, Mr. Samius. You forgot to glue the railing, Susie. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Sammy. We need to do it like this. I couldn't do without you. Like this. And here we'll install the staircase. With railing. Now we'll start arranging the kids' room. I made one of my favorite toys, the Rubik's Cube. By the way, the creator of this toy spent a month trying to assemble it. In the meantime, I assembled the bunk bed everyone dreams of in their childhood. I'm an expert in kids' rooms. Give me a sec. Okay, I'll wait. Whoosh. Now, even a picky kid will fall in love with this room. You did a great job arranging it, Sammy. Let's finish with the outer part. I'll assemble the roof real quick, which we'll install later. To the ceiling, we'll attach this cute helicopter lamp. Yeah, this roof has quite unusual construction, as I can see. Yes, Sammy, this roof is unusual and pretty, right? Let's install it now. There you go. And the second part. Sue, does this mean that our house is ready? No, Sammy. We'll move to the last part now. The guest house. But first, we'll install the safety railing. And another one on the first floor. Sue, I've already made the wires there. Do you want to have a look? Of course I do. <gasps> is that all you did, Sammy? Ugh. What's the problem, Susie? And do it yourself. Here, guys. We've covered all the wires with sticky tape. But how would you do it? Right. Together with an adult. Look, Sam. It had to be done neatly like this. You're the best, Sue. And now we're getting to the last stage of the assembling. And we're gonna build the guest house. I guess Sammy prepared something interesting again. I can't wait to see. Has it ever happened where Sam prepared something boring? <laughs> <laughs> you're speaking in the third person again. That's never good. But I can see your delicate nature in all its splendor. The Eiffel Tower looks awesome here. And I didn't leave an empty space in the center of the room for nothing. It will be taken by a pool table. The design here is quite stern. An interesting solution, Susan. We'll place the floor of the second story with connected wires like this. Let's add the walls to make our construction sturdier. So, we already have a library. But I guess something's still missing. Maybe we need a room with movies and music. And I can guess where you'll be spending most of your time. <laughs> Done. We only need to finish the walls and the roof of our guest house. Here, I was really careful about the wires. Guys, remember about that. Shoo, I can't wait to move to the final decor. Let's speed it up a little. Yay, done! Now let's connect the parts of our house. First, we'll place the main part right here. And now we'll work again with wires and lamps. 
Let's glue the pool lighting as well so it looks exceptionally beautiful. I'd better stay away and not distract Sue. One has to be careful with wires. There you go, we finished with gluing. Now let's cover them. And I made the actual pool and there are no wires here. Here you go. <laughs> Thanks, Sammy. They'll place it right here. And now we'll add the second part of our house. Let's make a small connecting part between the two buildings. And I'll start decorating the patio. A piano will make any house more elegant. Guys, it would be awesome if you learned to play this instrument. They'll also finish with the railing real quick. Shoo! Shoo! Look how I arranged the patio of our house! These are small but very important details. Great, Sammy. And here we have a bigger but also important patio tea table. Let's add a beautiful tree here. Hop. And another one. The corner's ready. Then we shall add stones too so the trees don't look naked. In the other corner, we'll install this street lamp with wires. Looks cool. And a little more attention to the kids. Huh? like this kind of attention. I'd better test the quality of these rides. Now let's install the fence and the gate real quick. Our house will be protected by this cute doggo. We just need to arrange these beautiful flowers. And add the house number. even better. Guys, try to build the same three-story house yourself. It's so much fun. And very useful. Same as hitting the bell button under the video so you won't miss any of our crafts. Oh, and we also have a music mechanism. Let's turn it on. Okay, Sammy. I already forgot about it, so... Thanks for being with us. And bye bye. Bye. as worried as me. What have you done with this house? Sue just finished it yesterday! Get back to your cage! Go home! Home! Hi, dear. Go to the hamster.
thì sao Just a dream. Oh. Huh? Oh, save, save What's wrong, Sam? The wicked witch took the hamsters. I thought I was dreaming, but it wasn't a dream. It's true. Really? Don't go. There's a witch. She lured them in. Oh, Sam. They escaped from the cage to eat the gingerbread house. Who was? I almost died myself, do you? Don't believe me! Sure I do, Sam, but the hamsters are fine. How do you know? <laughs> I saw them in the other room. They nibbled the house and ran away. Ah, oh, is it yummy? Of course, this house is made of gingerbread dough. And there's no witch! No, Sam, it's not a fairy tale. Although the gingerbread house did come from a fairy tale. I precious! <laughs> Can I live here? Aren't you afraid of the witch? Are you sad? Just kidding, Sam. Let me tell you about the fairy tale with the gingerbread house. We'll make something amazing for the hamsters so they don't run away anymore. Yay! Guys, subscribe to the channel and share with your friends. Today we'll show you something really cool. Hey, guys. Today we'll be making a gingerbread house from cardboard for our hamsters. And of course, we'll start with the floor and the walls. This wall will be solid. And I made holes here for our hamsters so they can easily go in and out. Oh, wait, wait! Make different shapes! Around here, a square here, and a star here. And then we'll paint it really pretty! Oh, Sammy, you got a little carried away. We're making it for the hamsters. The holes must be big enough and also smooth enough so they don't hurt themselves. No! Let's make an attic! Sure thing. Right away. Could you bring me the book, The Gingerbread House, from the shelf? What? To read? Not to paint? We'll be getting inspired, Sam. Oh, well, okay. Okay. And our base is ready. What did Sam say about the attic? I already have the part. Let's glue the attic here. And now the roof. It's made of these two parts. It's important to make sure they're the right size. <laughs> What's so inspiring about books anyway? Open it up! Nah. <laughs> uh, oh, 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 that's her! She got the hamsters! Sam! <laughs> the hamsters are okay! Remember? Oh, yeah, right. Wow, so pretty. And probably very tasty. Sue, so, how do I get there? It's a fairy tale, Sam. The storytellers were the Brothers Grimm. They liked visiting their friends, sitting by the fire. Oh, we'd be friends. By the way, Sue, let's make a fireplace for our hamsters! Oh, let's! It'll be so cozy in here. So, our fireplace is made of two parts. This hole has to be big enough for a hamster. I need to fold this part this way. And hold it like this. And we'll use these edges to glue the fireplace to the inside of the house. And I'll cover it with one more little part, like this. Great! Now the chimney. The hamsters will be able to use it to climb up and down, so it should be pretty wide. Phil, so uh, what's up with that fairy tale? Well, the Brothers Grimm wrote the story about the gingerbread house in 1812. Wow, long ago! Were there still dinosaurs back then? And slimes? <laughs> Sam, it's like you forgot everything about dinosaurs and slimes at once! <laughs> no, no, I was just testing you. Well, the brothers wrote a whole book of fairy tales. And after it got published, the gingerbread house became very popular. I love this story! But that fairy tale is kind of scary. It actually was very close to your dream. There was a witch that lured two little kids, a brother and sister, into her beautiful gingerbread house. And she wanted to eat them! Oh! Oh, please! Please stop! Oh, but it ends well. The witch was defeated. What are these stripes in the chimney? It's a ladder for our hamsters so they can easily climb inside the chimney. Let's put the chimney parts together and glue it in place. Just 
like this. Carefully, make sure the windows fit. The house is coming out pretty great. You know what's missing? The house decor. Awesome, Sammy! And I prepared these details for the decorations. First, let's attach the legs. It'll be better if I flip the house like this. Oh, careful, please! No worries, Sammy, I won't break it. Here. I made these legs out of paper towel rolls. This cardboard is pretty sturdy. Now let's glue the rest of the ornaments. Sweet little candies and icing. It's good that it's cardboard. Uh, why, Sammy? The hamsters won't eat it, and all the cookies will be mine! And you won't even share with our hamster friends? Well, okay, okay. They're friends after all. And I'll give some to you. You have a giant sweet tooth. Hey, Sue! The decorations are on point! But don't you think something's still missing? Oh, doors, of course! And ladders, Susie! How would the hamsters get in the house? And get down from the attic? Don't you worry, though. I have it under control. Oh, I'm so lucky to have a slime friend who has everything under control. Right, guys? <laughs> He's right, though. Lots of house without any doors, huh? Okay. Look, guys. I attached some thread to the door, and now I can glue it to the house! Done! Uh, I'm done too! Wow, Sammy! These are good ladders! Guys, quick! Give a thumbs up if you like Sam's ladder! My dear friends, what do you think about our beautiful house? Leave a comment below! And subscribe to the channel! We'd love to be friends with you! Oh, I wanna eat it so bad! It's just like the real thing! Yes, Sammy! You did a great job! I'll also add this cozy sofa to make the hamsters even more comfy! All done! Now let's see if the hamsters come back. Let's wait for it. Will they come or not? Oh, they won't come. Sam, is the house not good enough? Or maybe they got lost or taken? I know what to do, Sue. I saw it in that book. That's how Hansel and Gretel found their way home. Brilliant idea, Sammy. Please let it work, please. Come on, girls! You have a whole new house to explore! Hey, Sue! I think they like the windows! Aww! <laughs> you can't fit in there, little guy! Up, up, up! Be careful up there! Oh, look! They're climbing! Oh, yay! <gasps> Be careful! Wow, what skill! Da -da -da! And down! Wow! Hey, the door's working! Aww, they really like it here! Open your presents! Uh-oh, what are you doing up there? Oh! <laughs> Whoa! Uh-oh, be careful! I think they really like those chairs! Don't slide down again! Oh, would you look at them? They're so cute! I think they're happy. I think they like their new home. Guys, give a thumbs up if you like this video and share it with your friends! Bye-bye!
And the final touch. Wow, Roger, what a cool drawing. Thanks, Sam. I'm thinking about a new craft. Sam, bring them up, please. Are you kidding me? We have a ghost in the house. <laughs> Sammy, that's nonsense. Which ghosts? You knocked this glass down. Roger, don't you know that every house has its own ghost? <laughs> that's ridiculous. No, it is not. You'll see for yourself when you build a house. You'll have ghosts there in no time. Challenge accepted. Hi, guys. Today we'll build a house that will become a perfect home for ghosts. But if we don't get any ghost, Sam will get in trouble. <laughs> I love to blow Sam's wild theories. Ham, actually, the CEO of Ghostbusters Inc. can't talk so carefree about wild theories. Let's see how qualified you are. First of all, a ghost won't come into a house with a green lawn like this. Okay, we'll fix it now. Huh, that's better. Guys, Sue already assembled a sweet lavender house like this. Do you remember? I really liked it. Well, I'll try to make a perfect ghost house from this second set. A creepy one, but very beautiful. When Sam sees it, he'll be shocked. Let me know later which house you like the most. I'll help you. There are lots of conditions for the ghosts to move into a house. Sam, don't you think that your ghosts are too picky? We'll decorate this area with stones that I made out of clay. Hush, Roger! I hope that the ghost didn't hear you. Ah! I don't care about your ghosts. If they're going to be too fussy, I'll just kick them out of the house. Firstly, Roger, where are your manners? Oh! And secondly, all the ghosts Typical features are described in our Ghostbusters guide. Sounds serious. Don't worry. I'll tell you everything I know about ghosts. Ho, oh, oh, ho, oh! <laughs> ho! Sure you will, Sammy. The stone decoration of the lawn is done. Let's continue. Our ghost experts said that they don't like the new floors. That's why we'll try to antiquate them. Great, Roger! I approve the floor! Now, let's take care of the walls! Oh, by the way, I already drew the wooden boards on them. Great job, Sam! Fresh paint does look beautiful. But... There is some sort of charm in shabby houses. Here, we'll install a lamp. And now it's time to decorate our walls. Um, Roger? <sighs> right, Sam. Ghosts don't like perfect wallpapers. Awesome, Roger. You learn fast. You're a great teacher, Sam. Even though ghosts can pass through the walls, we still can't do without windows. Guys, be very careful working with sharp tools. Actually, Sam may sound very persuasive, but I still don't believe in ghosts. Roger, don't make me mad. So what do you say about the white spots that always appear in photos? It's devil ghosts that just want to be in pictures as well. <laughs> oh, Sammy, it's just because of dust or insects in the lens. Better check out this cool wall that I made. Yep, Roger. Your wall is almost as perfect as mine. <laughs> oh, that's the best compliment. Guys, this lamp will work thanks to these wires that we'll attach to these batteries. Now let's set the walls. And for the walls to look neat, 
will place the batteries in a special place. Be careful when working with wires. All right, it's time to arrange the furniture. We'll start with the kitchen. Hi, Jar, did I praise you for nothing? Oh. Sam. We need some ghost style furniture. Well, you're the ghost expert here, not me. Here, look! I made a ghost style couch. Very unusual. Sammy, can you give me a couple of hints of what your ghost style is? Easy peasy. First, it's elegant. Ghosts don't like fancy stuff or bright colors. Actually, bright colors are trending now. But, okay, so what else? Second, it's minimalism. Ghosts appreciate the beauty of simple shapes. Minimalism is top notch now. Third, it's the noble old fashioned. Ghosts are proud of their age. So, you just made this kitchen cupboard old? I decorated it in the noble old fashioned way. Generally, it looks interesting. I guess ghosts won't say no to a coffee table. Huh. It really matches the interior. Approved! Now we'll get to the first floor. We need to fix the chandelier. Since the floor of the first floor is also the ceiling of the ground floor. Roger! Do you feel this cold wind? I guess the ghosts have already come! Oh. <laughs> Sam, I just forgot to turn off the air conditioner. 17 degrees! Roger! Sam, calm down. Fine. So, I set two chandeliers and glued the floor. There we go. Our house can be super ghostly, but it can't stand without some pillars. And another one. We'll do the same thing on the other side. There we go. Perfect. Guys, have you ever seen ghosts? Are they really that picky? Roger, not picky, but demanding when it comes to style. Like this. Sammy, how do you like this noble old-fashioned style? Acceptable. I think it's a perfect old fence. Here comes the last detail. And now we'll take care of first floor. Roger, did you know that cats can see ghosts? I noticed our Fluffy staring at one spot without even blinking. Hmm, maybe he's meditating. Huh, I didn't think about that. Roger, you didn't think this through. How will ghosts enter the house? Well, I thought they can fly. But every ghost will definitely want to check out this stairway. Roger, I need a door that will fit our house perfectly. I'm sure ghosts will appreciate our haunted style house. Of course they will. Ghosts are very sophisticated. They only like beautiful things. Since our ghosts are east feet, let's add more decor. Our ghosts can read their ghost magazines on this bench. I wonder if they have their own National Geographic. Roger, our house looks empty. Let's have more of a special atmosphere. This floor lamp will help us. Perfect. It would also help add some ghost style light. It's coming out good. Oh. What's this, ghost? Oh, guys, did you hear that too? Sammy, you'll be shocked. Wow. Yeah, ghosts are cool. 
<sighs> well, time to bring our Sam back. <laughs> I got carried away. We need to hide our musical mechanism. Oh, that music enchanted me. Oh, this fence fits in really well. And a little raspy armchair as well. Sammy, do ghosts sleep at all? Uh, during the course, they told us that... Listen, do ghosts wash? Would it be weird if not? Well, in theory, they defo... And what do they do for fun? Do they throw ghost parties? <laughs> Roger, stop! When a ghost comes, ask it directly. There's no house without a roof. Sammy, your ghost will defo like it. I guess it matches all your requirements. Um, I forgot one more thing. Let me guess. Ghosts like old pictures? Uh, this refers to the old-fashioned thing. Point number four says that ghosts are fond of the gothic style. Sue told me about it some time ago. Gothic style is all about dark colors and sharp edges. Huh, that's very high quality work. Roger, you did great. Thanks. I hope the ghost likes it too. <laughs> At least it could show up. Talking about the third point, here's some noble old fashioned styles. There should be lots of plants in a haunted house. Since no one takes care of them. Plants grow like everywhere. Roger, speaking hypothetically. Yes, Sammy? Well, I mean, what if the ghost doesn't show up in the end? What then? <laughs> then I'll have to work hard on my jokes about your crazy theories. <laughs> Oopsie! Our house came out too cool. What if ghosts never show up? Then Roger will be making fun of me all the time. I guess I should summon a ghost in advance. <coughs> Sammy, don't summon it too early. Otherwise, you'll have to pay for the waiting. But it, it's not a taxi. It can wait. Roger, I just want you to train a little. Uh, by the way, there was a new pink car out there. Look what I did. Wow, Sam, you're a real ghost rider. Let's make our car look even more spooky. What is your idea? To make it look like the car was out here for a while and got covered with leaves and stuff. Oh, I like the way you think. And I really like the broken headlights and window, Sam. Very creative. You're our master decorator. Done. This car perfectly matches the style of our house. So, guys, our stylish mystery house is ready. Now we're just waiting for ghosts. Hop, hop, hop. Sammy, when are your ghosts coming? I've got stuff to do. I still need to come up with jokes about your faith in non-existing ghosts. Ooh, who's non-existing here? Hmm. Oh, Sir Ghost, nice to meet you. It's a pity that ghosts don't eat. Otherwise, I'd treat you to delicious Nutella. Did you want to say we slimes? Oopsie! 
I should have summoned a ghost in advance. Uh, oh, Sammy. I told you that ghosts don't exist. Guys, if you liked our craft, give a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and see you soon in our next videos. And hit the bell button to get all the notifications. Right, Roger? Roger? That's weird. Bye-bye!